Hey guys, Shaman through the next year, bringing you. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's been quite a while, but I'm bringing you another cookie clicker video here. Uh, yeah, I checked. I believe the last update for this game came out around, I think it was May of 2014, or at least that's the last time I did a video on this. And uh, sitting here now, in February of 2016, it has been, it has been quite a while. So uh, this is on the 2.0 update. I haven't quite gotten to that yet, but um, I, I've messed around with the beta a lot so I know more or less quite a bit about it but I was just kind of showing a bit of how because I just kind of want you to compare how things are now to how things are going to be once I uh, refresh this page so uh, as you can see we got all the basic buildings here uh, 216 total upgrades I'm actually not sure what those two upgrades I'm missing are to be completely honest with you uh, you know plenty of achievements I have almost all of them uh, a few I'm missing I think for owning like 200 of some of these things uh, I go ahead and just see if I can. Yeah, I don't even have enough cookies and stuff to be able to uh, get those now. That was probably actually a mistake spending all those, but uh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, that's cookie chain. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't. I don't want to dawdle here too long. So um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show how things look now. So now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Uh, yep. And you'll notice that things are about to get very different. So right off the bat, cool loading screen here. So you know that's good first impressions right off the bat. But, um, I mean, here you go. you'll notice I just got a whole bunch of achievements. I believe I just got about a 20, achieve 20 achievements or so. Uh, <laughs> I'll get to that also in just a minute. So here's just a little blurb about uh, the update here. Just about some things that were changed. Because as you can see, there's more buildings over here. Basically, they took the original, uh, however many buildings this is. I don't feel like trying to count that right now. I think it's like 11 or 12. Uh, they added three buildings and they just kind of reorganized them so that the first... 11 or 12 building ha buildings, however many, are now, you know, these these ones. So basically the, uh, and also it's just talking about how they changed uh, heavenly chips, and there's now heavenly upgrades and stuff like that, which I'm going to get to in just a moment. But as you can see, these three buildings, you'll now notice that when you first, uh, like, update, you don't have any of these anymore, and you might be concerned at first, but basically these three uh, supplement these. So the portal is now the equivalent of a prism, uh, and, you know, so on for all of these. And these are now even better than they were before, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, there's just a quick thing there. Uh, you'll notice there's a lot of upgrades I can buy now. Uh, they've added a few tiers of, uh, of upgrades, as you can see. Actually, I noticed that also that I believe I lost two upgrades between the updates, so I'm not sure how exactly that works. But, um, yeah, they added more tiers to them. So... Of course, there's upgrades for all the new buildings, there's upgrades for the grandmas for all the new buildings. There's basically a ton of stuff. So I'm, I'm just kind of trying to wrap my brain around how I, like, how I want to go about talking about this stuff. So, really quick, uh, this will be a good place to start, start with the options, because they've added some new things. One, you'll notice... Oh, wait, this, there's two different sounds. I like this one better. There's sound effects now, basically. Uh, you know, for, for clicking stuff, for clicking the cookie, and uh, golden cookies now have sounds. All that good stuff. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn some of this stuff on just for my own uh, own sake. Ooh, Elder Frenzy. That's really nice, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a bit of this. Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I've, I have an auto-clicker. Not for this game, but uh, I'm not gonna be using it for the video because it feels a little cheesy. But, uh, uh, yeah, just really quick, this Iron Crates option here, basically this kind of simulates this, how this used to look before. It adds these boxes around everything. I thought I would like it better with those back on, but I'm actually quite liking the more minimalist look without those boxes, so I'm actually going to stick with that, I think. And I believe it allows you to display more in a smaller area, which I'm always all for. Uh, there's also now much better bulk buying and selling buttons, which is really nice. I gotta be honest, this was a major gripe that I had, like even very late into the beta they didn't even have this. And when he added that, I was just like, oh, that's so, so nice, considering some of the stuff you have to do in the update, like, for, uh, just, like, some of the mechanics later on. Uh, you'll notice that there's quite a lot more achievements now. Uh, there's achievements, of course, for all the new buildings. I have a lot of those automatically, and I also have a lot of the achievements for getting prisms and stuff, which I technically shouldn't have anymore, because they rebalance things, but, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, we got these now. Really quick note, also, having yourself named Ortail actually, um... Uh, diminishes your uh, your supply there, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just set that to where it should be, because yeah, you do lose a small amount of CPS uh, when you name that, which I thought was interesting. Really quick, I'll, well, actually, no, I'll get to that in just a moment. Never mind. Uh, like I said, there's there's a lot to go over here, so really quick, I'm going to 
I'm gonna, I think, hang out in this particular ascension before I ascend, because I just want to kind of, uh, take in as much of this stuff as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and burst these wrinklies, which I've had going, let's see, when did I start this session? Uh... Odd says is a long while ago now. Unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't able to check that before. I should have done that now, I think, but... Uh, oh, no, never mind. Here we go. We're on started. 15... Uh, let me do the math for that really quick. Uh, let's see. 15... I'll just go 15,000 uh, divided by 24. That was 625 days, or uh, 1.7 years ago is when, <laughs> is when I started this particular run. So, uh, yeah, these wrinkles have been building up for quite some time. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty, that's some pretty hefty cookies, considering where I was at before this. So that'll help me kind of, uh, get through a bit of this, but as you can see, it's not even close to enough to get some of these more intense upgrades. As you can see, uh, th there's a lot more to this game, like the, like the late game and the, everything is different. Uh, yeah, I, I can't do a whole lot this ascension, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to get what I can here, but, uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not gonna take me very far, I can tell you that much, because, uh, I was pretty much just wait, just sitting on this for about almost two years, uh, so I, yeah, that being said, I don't know if there's a whole lot more we can do in this ascension, oh, that did boost up my legacy quite a bit, though, so that, that is very nice, uh, other than that, I think... That I am just about good to go here, so I'm gonna go ahead and ascend, and this is where the large majority of the new content comes from, is right here. So I'm gonna click this, make sure you want to ascend, uh, before I even go to that, uh, prestige level, this is kind of, I think this is pretty much how the same, same as it was before, having the chips and stuff. But you'll see this up here tells you how long your run's been going, your prestige level, and how much additional prestige level and heavenly chips you get, uh, from ascending. And then it also tells how much until the next level, which is pretty nice. Uh... So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. It's got this fancy little animation. Uh, so long, cookies. Oh, God, this upgrade's still there. Okay. Got this cool music, this cool background. It's just very... They, they cha He changed this very recently, so it looks a lot uh, cooler. You kind of have this, uh, this square here. Unfortunately, I was really hoping at some point that he was going to like throw a secret achievement in one of the corners or something, or a secret unlock, but unfortunately, he hasn't done that yet. But uh, that's okay. So... Uh, this, yeah, basically, this is like a like a dynamic skill tree that you can use to spend your heavenly chips uh, on cool upgrades. Uh, as you can see, spend enough variety. These upgrades are permanent. You will never lose any of these upgrades that you purchase here. And your prestige level also gives you permanent plus one CPS, so I don't believe there's any purpose to hold on to heavenly chips. So, like, spending them is not beneficial to you, I, I don't think, at least. I'm, I'm, I could very well be wrong on that, but... Uh, yeah, so we go ahead and get this one. Obviously, that's the first one. And then from here, it gets a little bit crazier. So, right off the bat, with how many heavenly chips I have, this costs over a thousand, and these all cost like a hundred thousand. So, unfortunately, I'm not actually going to be able to do seasons anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. So, that's going to make, um, I I'm going to be missing out on a lot of stuff that's locked behind seasons, uh, until, unless obviously the actual season is going on. But, um,. I'm not even going to waste any heavenly chips on that right now. Really quick, this is, you know, a nice cheap upgrade. Five five chips and research goes lightning fast. So that's that very much so makes sense to get. This is a cool one. This lets you choose between all the milks that you have unlocked, and it's only nine chips, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, this would also be cool, and I'm pretty excited for when this does get implemented, but it is not currently. I'm going to go ahead and get it preemptively, but um, this there's some really cool ones <laughs> cool milks here, but I don't have enough for that yet. I'm probably going to have to do several videos on this as I kind of progress through things, uh, particularly with showing off some of these upgrades here. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. Uh, another upgrade you're definitely going to want to get is How to Bake Your Dragon. This is another pretty sizable piece of content here. Uh, it allows you to purchase a crumbly egg when you've earned a million cookies. Uh, and then there's some heavenly chip upgrades down here, or heavenly cookie upgrades. What? Wait, hold on. Golden cookie upgrades. There we go. Jeez. Uh, down here, which I definitely recommend you pick up. Uh, up here more often. Have the effects last a bit longer. Uh, this is all well and good. That's too expensive. This is interesting. Uh, it lets you basically disable golden cookies. Uh, so you don't get them anymore, but it boosts your CPS by 50%. So that's pretty nice, and I'm definitely going to consider that. Uh, this is the first of a chain of five upgrades here that allow you to 
carry an upgrade, any upgrade if you're choosing through Ascension, so you'll always start with the upgrade that you choose. And I kind of thought about this a lot, like there's some pretty nice ones here, but I've realized that I think my best option is a bit, might seem a bit unconventional, but I believe it's going to be the festive hat. Here we go. Because, uh, well, I'll explain that a bit more afterwards. Uh, yeah, I can get a second one if I wanted to. I'll see if I have the money for that, because I also want to get these. To be completely honest, I am not sure what these do, but I always get them just because they're cheap. Uh, that's good. Halo gloves, too expensive. Starter kitchen, too expensive. Uh, golden switch is okay. This, this up here is another pretty important part of this update, but I always have the game open. Basically, this is uh, a split path, which will, um, this allows you to earn cookies and stuff while the game is not open. Which is, you know, very standard for most idle games, but actually for this game is pretty much non-existent. Now, I have not closed the game, like, for any sizable amount of time since I've started playing. <laughs> so, this isn't really useful to me. Uh, and in, considering that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and actually get this one. I haven't considered what I want to get for this yet, but I think I'm just going to try to find, like, a nice overall upgrade. I might go with, like, a kitten upgrade, maybe. Uh, I don't know how much the century egg actually boosts stuff by. Uh, a lot of this stuff is based on how many eggs you own, so I don't know if I actually even want to bother with those. I might just go with, uh, the simple kitten managers here. Yeah, we'll go for that. That's always a safe bet, I feel like. Uh, and then from there, of course, they get more expensive. But like I said, I believe there's five of those total that you can get, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good, to be sure. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the golden switch, I think, because that's pretty nice. And here's another upgrade we can't get. Uh, it just gives you more CPS when the switch is on. And now I can go ahead and start getting a couple of these. Basically, how this works is it splits into two paths. This is kind of like the the bad and the good path, more or less. The bad path, um, or the evil path, I'll just say, increases like the amount of time that you'll keep getting cookies while the game is closed. And this one increases like how much CPS you retain. Uh, when you're when the game is closed uh that's all i'm gonna be able to get it looks like so i'm gonna have some left over but uh you know that's fine uh i don't think there's anything else i can get here so i'm gonna go ahead and reincarnate but before i do that uh one more thing this was also added very very recently uh challenge modes you this is required for some of the shadow achievements like you might remember the um like the speedy baker achievements or whatever they're called uh you can now get those but only when you have born again enabled uh, I don't know if there's some regular achievements that also require that, or if there's still shadow achievements. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, I'm just gonna go with regular for now, of course, because I want, <clears throat> want all these cool, uh, benefits and stuff. Whew, okay. So, let's go ahead and reincarnate. And, yep. Boop. Get that. Got these, uh, starting cursors. Got a couple achievements as well. Uh, and, as you can see, we now start out with the test tube. That is why I wanted to set up with the festive hat. Basically, that allows you to start out with with uh, the test tube here and uh, all the hat upgrades and stuff. So this basically allows you to get to do like a decent sized portion of the Christmas season event uh, early. Which so you know that that might be a little bit of helpful uh, a bit of a helpful tip for you if if you know that's useful. I'm not sure if it's if that's actually any like good especially, but uh, it's an option at least. So. Uh, yeah, basically from here, I'm just kind of start, just kind of starting over, more or less. Uh, I don't, I can't show you the dragon yet, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the dragon anytime soon, uh, considering that um, you have to have a million cookies to be to be able to get to that point. Uh, I don't have any reason to upgrade that yet, and I just realized because uh, this upgrades are pretty expensive. But um, I think that's going to do it for this video. This is just kind of like the introductory video. Uh, as I get into other parts of this update, I will definitely do more videos on this, so if, you know, if you enjoy these, if, you know, for, for whatever reason, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question it, but, uh, if you, if you do, definitely stick around, because I've, I've got a lot of content to cover in this update, so, uh, there's, there's gonna be plenty of these to come. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also check the description for a link to our Twitch.tv channel, where I hope to be able to start live streaming again, uh, soonish maybe this week even i'm hoping i'm just 
just now getting back into uh, the swing thing. Oh, right, and I can show off the milk selector. Uh, yeah, you can... It's just cosmetic, of course, but it lets you choose between all the different uh, milks you have, which is, you know, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little nice little feature. I'm really excited for when the background uh, switcher is uh, implemented, because that sounds pretty cool. But, um... Yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and also check the description for a link to a giveaway I'm currently running for five uh, Mew codes, the event Pokemon Mew, that you can redeem in any 6th gen Pokemon game. Uh, so, yeah, check that out if you're interested in in entering for that, uh, that giveaway. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time, probably with the crumbly egg. That's, that's probably what I'll take care of next. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. And just a real quick update, I just remembered one of the uh, the new kind of wacky achievements they added is that if you just kind of click through this uh, this news reel a bunch of times, uh, it gives you an achievement after a certain amount of clicks. There we go, tabloid addiction. Uh, yeah, just forget I'd show that because it's just it's a, just a minor thing that I remembered. So it's just a little little uh, secret achievement like that, 50 times. So, uh, and I'm sure this one here is an uh, achievement along similar lines. Considering it's it's around other achievements like that, but I am not currently sure what that one is, so I will have to uh, get back to you guys on that one. And I just remembered what the other one is. You just go right here, you click on it, and then there you go. <laughs> you, <laughs> you literally just have to click on the achievement spot, and then it just gives it to you. So, you know. Thanks, Hotel. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs>